This is National 5. It's exam practice homework. We're looking here at uh, Standard Grade Credit 2005, Paper 2, and it's Question 3. Right, I have a triangle here with uh, some values around about it. I've got an angle and two of the sides. Calculate the area of triangle PQR. Okay, so I know it's not a right angle triangle, so I can't be using just the, the normal area of a triangle work. What I'll do is I'll, I'll do what I've learned this year, and I'll look at the formula sheet, and I'll see what there is there. So there is something there that says the area of a triangle is equal to a half AB sine C. And that's really what I'm going to use. So I can always use this formula here as long as I've got the angle and the two sides that are right beside it. So that's the important thing for me there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this formula. I'm going to rewrite this out with uh, P, Q and R uh, in it. So what I'll say is that the area is going to be equal to a half. I know that the sine C is where my angle is, so I could say that that's going to be sine P, and then it doesn't matter which values I put in here, so I could put in Q first of all, and then I'll put R in there. So that's a formula just changed around. Your other option is to, to cancel these out, make that C, and make this A and B there, and work it through from there. So let's put our values in and work through this question. So I'll look for Q, so remember, across from these uh, angle, or the vertices, we'll put a small letter, cross from this one, small letter, cross from this one, small letter. Right, so the Q is going to be 19. R is going to be across from here, which is 21. And then I'll multiply that by the sine of 110 degrees. Okay, this one here. When I put that in the calculator, let's see what we get. <coughs> So I've got, I'm just going to go with 0.5, or 1 divided by 2, if that's what you put into your calculator. I'll multiply that by 19, multiply by 21, and multiply by sine of 110. And make sure your calculator's in degrees and not in radians, especially if you're borrowing a calculator, and press the equals button. Okay, so, so from there I've got 187, so it'd be 187.4686. Seven seven eight. Okay, so I'm just going to round that to one decimal place, and that will be one eight seven, and I'll go for point five. And we're working in centimeters, so that will be centimeters squared, and that will be the question complete. So this question here was worth uh, it was worth four marks, I think, in the 2005 exam, but it really is only a two mark question. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get uh, one mark for using the formula, either that one or this one here, if you change around the uh, the uh, sides and the corners. I'll get one mark for substituting in here, and a final mark for getting the area of the triangle. So I'd say that this one here, I'm going to give out of three marks.